The federal government authorizes uh, the issuance of something called a CID, a Civil Investigative Demand. Um, it is a request for information. It doesn't make specific uh, findings or allegations. It's a due process process. Uh, what we're finding is the, the effect of this, because the CFR holds that when there is a civil investigative demand issued, that TRICARE particularly will can hold back its reimbursement. So they'll suspend reimbursement, not terminate the contract as a TRICARE provider, but suspend payment. So the problem is there's now this gray area where people that are in the situation where they're receiving, particularly pharmacies, who are receiving civil investigative demands and they don't know what to do, they have to get advice because it could trigger their requirements that sit within their PBM contracts to notify all the PBMs that there's been an action taken by a third party payer or administrator. Because that's really what a PBM is. It's a third party administrator, it's a TPA for the various insurance entities. So it's very important to understand that and that's where we're seeing, particularly in this little segment, of CIDs being issued more and more as the federal government is using them as a tool to investigate pharmacies and marketers and all people involved in the, in the industry, in the healthcare industry, and particularly anti-kickbacks, medical providers, prescribers, all of these people could qualify under the, the issuance of these CIDs and it has a number of effects on them as an ongoing federal investigation exists. So it's important to get counsel, it's important to get help, and it's more important to understand that this could have wide-ranging effect on your contracts.